podcast. We're podcasting in the middle of a flipping rainstorm, you guys. What's it called? It's called a um an Annoyance? atmospheric river. Huh, rain? Yeah, it's like there's all this moisture going through the atmosphere. I don't know. My kids are like Think it's the end of the world because I think it's the end rain. of the world. I find it just heavily annoying, and here I am complaining. And people in some states are buried in snow, and I get that, and I'm sorry, and that's terrible, and that would suck, and I would complain all the time if I lived there, like I'm complaining right now. Well, I will say that you know snow has its difficulties, but rain is that is constant is a little bit of a pain in the butt. I, know. I mean, because like we, my floors get no break with the dogs. Everything's broken. Everything's terrible. Thank you for joining our podcast. Hashtag I Mom So Hard podcast. You can listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah. Uh, if you For more charming and fun, uh, witty banter, you can subscribe, rate, and review. I promise I'm not going to be this bitchy all the time, but today's going to be a slippery slope. Well, uh, I'd just like to say while we're on the topic of witty banter, you just gave all this information and my contribution was to go, Yeah. Yeah. Like everything she's saying is true, you guys. You can follow us on all these places. Rate, review, subscribe, do all that. Did we say that? Did yeah. Did we say that? Okay. I'm also, while I'm on a terror, and by the way, you don't have to send me messages that say this is what happens when you do stupid shit because I already <laughs> know what happens when I do I stupid shit. I think we shit. all know what happens when we do stupid shit. I went to the, I went enough. to get my Botox done. And I've not been feeling uh, super attractive lately. I've noticed some age taking over. Oh, and my, sheesh. my Don't get me started. My smile's real gummy now. Uh, uh, all the collagen in my lips is gone, and I don't want to put any of that shit in it because I yeah. do not think it looks good. I don't – well, it, it there's only two things it does. It, it either, like – works in that it gives you those like a little very, bit of puffer lips the, the puffer like kylie I, kardashian I is that a person blowy lips is that... blowy lips not even know. if they're not if they're on you they're not they're not it's on me dang sure that is a false advertising yeah but or they don't you can't do a modern it's not amount, for me first think. of all i'm not saying i won't ever do it if it is something that i really think through and i think would look good on me i just I don't want to do it right now. It like freaks me out. Also, I'm a big giant baby about pain and I know it's very painful, yeah. so I don't want to do it. But I went in to get my Botox done, which is the what I get between my eyes because I say I have a vagina on my forehead, which I do. And I got a little freshener and I was like, I was like, oh my smile's really gummy. And my injector was like, we can just put a little bit on each side of your nose and it'll keep your lip down. So when you smile. Uh, you don't see the gums of your mouth anymore. I'm like, well, that seems like an easy solution. And now it's like my lip is a garage door and the rest of it like smiles around it. I look we like can, I'm annoyed when I smile. We can make it so only the bottom part of your mouth smiles. That's what Yeah, they that's did. what it is. So now like, like it looks like I'm the joker. Oh, see, I don't, I don't think it's that noticeable. I think it's noticeable, and I hate it, and it also creates air bubbles right in the top of my lip. Everything's terrible. All of these things I did to myself. She's got an atmospheric river. I on don't. Her top lip right. Uh, nope. I don't want to hear. It. We're not getting into that today. We're not going to stay. I'm going to back out of that. I'm going to back out of it. Conversation right now. We well, do. We do. Uh, we do have a, a, hot, a hot flash. We're going to start with a hot flash. Are we going to start with the hot flash. Yeah, we're going to. I think we should start with the hot flash because you and I have been talking about it a lot. Hot flash. Hot flash. We're going to start with a hot flash, and we are going to say this. Um, we want to really shine a light on DeMar Hamlin, who yes. is the safety for the Buffalo Bills, who suffered cardiac arrest on the field during the game against the Bengals. And um, we were watching the game. We did see this boy tackle and uh, then stand up and collapse. He's and like, so young, you guys. He's, he's 24. 24. He's like just out of he's college. From, he's he, a baby. He's from Pittsburgh. He's from the Pittsburgh area, but he's actually from McKee Rocks, McKee's Rocks, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And, um, you know, just these interviews with this kid are, he's like, at one point he was like, uh, 
I know I'm in my 20s, but I still ask my parents like what they think about things because I just need them to tell me so I know what to do. And I was like, I love you so much. Uh, so he is right now recovering. He's in critical condition. Yeah. Although I did read for the first time since all of this has happened, which has been about uh, one and a half days at this point, that he is showing of uh, some signs of there's some glimmering hope. Good. He's in a coma oh, right good. now. Um, it, some of the induced. tests are showing. Yeah. yeah, it's some so, like they've um, they've been able to decrease some of his oxygen, so he's starting to breathe. And like what I think the reason that we want to put this on here is just to say that like you know shoot his prayer his way for his family, yeah. his mom, his all of his family. It's a really tough time. And uh, on to leave on an, a bright note. Uh, this is what's extraordinary about sports fans. So Buffalo Bills fans are called the Bills Mafia, which I've never heard of before, which I think is so dope because they are known as being the most like supportive diehard fans. And now so many people are going to come at, so uh, so nope. many Eagles fans are going to yeah, be like, no, what the yeah. actual? I, it's hard, to, they're, but they're supportive. But, they're, yeah. but hey man, run a race in generosity. That's a, that's a sporting event I'd like to go to. And what happened is after he was hurt, um, his uh, charity that he started before he was drafted is called the Chasing M's Project, which is a um, project that supports toy drives for kids during the Can pandemic. Can I say what it's for? I just read an article about yeah. it. It's for Chasing Millions is oh. what it's from. And he has a clothing line called that. And he donates clothing to his old high school for kids who need who – he's a – He's literally the best of us. That's somebody yeah. said like it was somebody had like tweeted another like professional football player tweeted. Yeah. He represents the best of us. Yeah. And he does. And I don't want to say it's like better to have good people like living in well, but isn't it? Like I just think he just got started, you yeah. know, and he's doing good stuff. But I think the big takeaway is his toy drive had about twenty five hundred dollars in the kitty. Yeah. And Within 24 hours, it went to five million, which best. is just like those Buffalo Bills fans. If you look at the list of who donated, it's like it's not 25 bucks. Not that that doesn't help, but it's like I'm getting like chills. It's like two thousand, three thousand, anonymous, anonymous, yeah. anonymous. Like these are like people doing right by him, and I I think that's a version of prayer in a way. I think oh, it's like it is. setting it, forth good energy, and it's 100 percent to just show his support. And I can't wait for him to like wake up and see that that many people were thinking about yes. him. Yes. So we just wanted to say he's uh we're thinking of you. We're sending love to your family, and uh, we hope that everybody uh, when by by the time you're listening to this, it's a it's a much more joyful tale. Yeah, yeah. He's, anyway, yeah. So, so now we can go on to where how I really really messed up as oh a mom. Gosh, I can't wait to hear this. She's been teasing this well for a couple too, of days, but I've had two of the biggest mom fails of my life within three days of each other. So I'm doing great, but I'm just going to share one because I'm not ready emotionally to share the other. Um, actually, I've done three, but that third one is just going to die in the grave. Okay, let me set the stage oh here boy. a little bit. As you guys know, we've been living in a tiny house, in a back house, for very many months. Eight yep. months. Yeah. Eight months. While the reno's happening. While the renovation's happening. I know it's been a long road for all of us, but we are towards the end. And the end is the hardest because I walk by that kitchen and I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And then I have to walk into a tiny house and use that house to live in. Oh, it's torturous. It is, yeah. It's like what I mean, it's window shopping, basically, except I paid for the window. Oh, so yeah. I don't even get to go shop inside the store. I'm just they're like, here's a beautiful Bloomingdale storefront. Please make your way back to, I don't know, his and her socks. Like I yeah. it's just not as fun as I yeah, here's the Bloomingdale's storefront. Why don't you go over go to, to Radio sh Shack? <laughs> yeah, go to <laughs> and it's closing, and yeah. there's not much. Here's room the in Circuit there, City that still exists. No yeah. one's been in it for four years. Want you buy this battery tester? Yeah, and... great. I love okay. love Radio Shack, you guys. When yeah. Bloomingdale's is literally fifty feet from me, so. Uh, we finally got one room in the house, and Jen's seen the house, and it's very oh exciting. My God. We've got one room in the house that's kind of done. Yeah. So it's the teeny tiny den, and it's got a, a sofa and a TV. But we have our cable hooked up. We have our or our um, 
Apple TV hooked up. So Colin had this great idea. And we've been kind of, it's, you guys, and we're at the end. We're just fighting all the time because it's so stressful. And you just feel like you're, like, bleeding money. You're like, yeah. And every dollar you spend, you're like, here we go. Yeah. And so I'm, like, so, I'm so burnt crispy. So Colin was like, you know what? Let's leave the kids in here, and you and I go watch our show, Chippendales. What's up? Highly recommend. I have to see this. And let, we're, we're three episodes behind. Let's go grab a nice bottle of wine. Let's go out there because we've been trying not to go out too much, saving money, and and let's have date night. And I was like, husband, I am on board with this idea. Our kids can just throw themselves into their eighth hour of Roblox, and I am not going to judge myself. Yeah, and it's Christmas break. I mean, right. we're still in the winter break of winter things. Winter break. Like, They're home, and it's raining. Yeah, I and th- yeah, it's hard to go outside and get stuff done. Mine went outside and smushed mushrooms in the rain. I was like, wonderful. Great. Yeah, you're keep moving doing your it. body. I mean, but I said to my husband, I go, you know, I was looking back and thinking about like when I was on some kind of break for school, I totally forgot about this, but I would always watch like kids' TV until like noon right. when all of the soap operas came yeah, on. Yeah, then you've got another three hours of pure delight. And, yeah, well. I don't do. I didn't do soap opera. I did a little bit of One Life to Live, like when. Wait, what age are we talking about? Because I did them all. Um, I guess I'm thinking like under ten or twelve. At twelve, maybe. I think I, I hit a really strong streak at about eleven. No, I can see you watching soap operas when you're like seven. No, I, I totally was, and then my mom would like yell, "Are you watching soap operas? Nope, doing Legos." Oh my god, I wonder if she's gonna sleep with him. Yeah, it was yeah great. no, I know. I mean, my daughter's very into kissing right now. She just goes like berserk when people are kissing on TV. Yeah. Eleanor and- goes, I don't know why they use their tongues. Isn't Ew. kissing just enough? And I was like, it is. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody on t- I don't want to see anybody use their tongues. I mean, I don't remember what we were watching, but I've really slid down the mom uh, uh, slide here and we've let them watch stuff that we normally don't. And you guys yeah. you can judge me. I just I, I'm yeah. really careful. I've been careful for 10 years. I, I'm I'm letting go a little bit in, yeah, in many ways. Yeah, they're getting older. Well, my husband did say, goes, so you watched uh, that much TV. Do you think that was okay? And I'm like, Don't what are you judge saying about me. what I'm like right now, man? Yeah. I'm, I'm not that big a mess. And honestly, I would say most of what about me is a mess has nothing to do with my TV watching. Right. Yeah. And I would also push back. I'd be like, what are you reading Nietzsche in the corner over there, sir? Oh, yeah. Your sorry. ESPN apps are racking up hours. Nobody's well, getting smarter doing that. He was the one like sticking a stick through somebody's like <laughs> bike spokes. He wasn't doing anything that was yeah. not doing science projects. Look, man, no exactly. Way. No one's like, you know what I want to do right now? Expand my mind in a positive direction. They're yeah, like, no, how can was, I start a fire? He wanted to, yes, burn yeah, things and burn beat things. people up. Up. Yeah, beat people up, knock shit down, and Eat sometimes snacks. you just want that in a virtual space so there's less to clean up. That's true. So, okay, so. so anyway, um, we decide let's go have date night in the in the main house. It's so beautiful. We're so proud of it. It's been such a labor of love. So we get in there. We have this really nice bottle of wine. We pour each other a glass, and I say to the kids before we walk out there, "You guys, we are literally just in the house." That is 50 feet away. And we have a landline phone. Oh. You have two iPads with FaceTime on it that you can call us. You can also get off your butt, walk to the house that is 50 feet away, or you can call us from this landline. Yeah, I would argue it's <clears throat> less than 50 feet. It's like less it's, than 50 feet. It's 30 a, feet. It's a garage. I it's a garage. I don't know that you need to raise your volume to like right. talk to I could, somebody standing 100%. at the back door or front door. I could each. yell at them from that house. I'm not bragging. I just don't want to get anybody calling the cops. No, so, it's it's oh my God. Right. Honestly, if if you live someplace else other than LA, like you it it would be like your basement totally. distance away. You'd like it's not, the, yes, it's yeah. a basement distance away. My point is, by the way, they're Eleanor's almost 10 and Finn's almost 12. Everybody should be fine. Yeah. So we so go you into look the at a babysit. Or? We go into the to what I call the daddy den, which sounds sexy, but it's not. And we <laughs> wow, have our new, one cool. new piece of furniture so far, which is a sofa. I love it. And we're sitting in there and we're watching this show and we're just totally relaxed and we're having a great time. And all of a sudden the phone rings. Our phones ring. And we look at it and it's the back house landline and our kids start 
prank calling us. But let me just tell you, nobody's good at it. They're not good at it because they don't even know what a real like landline phone is for. So they're so bad at it. They just call and they're like, oh, honey, and I'm really just, you know, and they make noise. Is your refrigerator That's running? That's what I said. Yeah. You better catch it. None of that creativity was coming Golly. through. It was, they could barely figure out like, what are you talking this thing? Well, so you, you got to Google that because I'm right. sure there's, or, or watch no a originality. YouTube video on no, pranking. They barely, I'm, I'm impressed they figured out how to call us because we taught them because I was like, you never know. So they start pranking us, right? And they are nonstop calling. And we keep trying to tell them through the phone, you guys need to cool it. This is mommy and daddy time. Ha, like, ha, ha. like yeah, haha, super jump. funny. Yeah. First time was barely funny. The sixth time was annoying. Yeah. So I said, <laughs> I didn't even change my, I didn't even change my voice. I called the number back and I said, <laughs> this is the Los Angeles police department. We have record of, uh, of, um, like, a phone call coming in that you're not supposed to dial this number. Uh, have you been dialing a number and prank calling? And Finn believes I'm in, th I'm the LAPD. He and I'm like, can't tell your he voice. Can't. I literally, I stammer through it. I'm not doing anything great. And he's like, Oh, Oh, I'm in. We're really sorry. We were just calling my parents. I'm just, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know. And then I, then I take it as a giant beach ball and I'm like, well, I'm going to take this one step further. And I go, let's have some fun with this situation. <laughs> so oh, we, no. Oh, no. no. Finn hangs up. He calls back and he's like, Mom, I think I'm in trouble. The police department called. They they said that I'm not supposed to make prank calls, that it's against the law. And I said, oh, God, Finn, no. No, you didn't. Oh, my God, there's a police car out front. There's a police car out front. Oh. And then I go, Colin, there's a police car. Um, Oh, hi, officer. Oh. Okay, just one second, one second. And I have Finn on the phone, and Finn's like, what's happening? And I go, Finn, it's okay. They're going to take mommy to the station. It's not a big deal. I don't oh. want you to come out here because I'm in handcuffs. And they're going to do Oh. <laughs>
really laughing that hard at the end of them except the person that's pulling them off and then you feel super bad about it. Yeah. Because I, have you seen this TikTok trend where, I mean, Andy Cohen said the F word on live television for the first time in 13 years because he was so mad about this trend where um, people are telling their parents that somebody famous died who didn't die and they have a huge reaction. Like 15 people have sent him videos of them telling their parents Andy Cohen died. Oh my and then gosh, recording it. That's and so, so people have done, the only one that was funny was the one that somebody told her mom that John Bon Jovi died and this like 1980s Jersey woman lost her mind, but I it wasn't funny. I'm just uh, saying I'm a bad mom. No, uh. listen. I I will tell you that my husband does this. My husband Your is, husband does tease a lot and do a, a lot of he can. He is so good about being in on a practical joke. There's. He can't say no to it. If you're like, "Hey, I have this idea to do this to this person," he can't say no. He like he's physically. I unable always say, to no. say no. This is the first time I ever was the. I was the head. But you know what he does? Okay, so I've might have mentioned before if you listen to the podcast. Uh, my son is scared that there's a. Uh, a uh, ghost of an alien that lives in his room named Tez. Um, <laughs> That's a cool name. He's a cool alien. Yeah, Sounds like that alien yeah. wears a letter jacket. Yeah. Like plays Te acoustic guitar the on the weekends. Yeah. Like, Tez, what's up? Oh. And now that my son's older, he knows how ridiculous it is. And we will make jokes about like, like I'll go in there. I'm like, your room's a mess. What Tez doing here? Little fair, you know, like, uh, yeah. Truth and jest. Yeah. Little truth and jest. And you believe in that stuff. So I'm surprised you're making those jokes. You're like, oh. Tez? <laughs> I, listen, Kristen, I don't sense there being any presence in there. I don't think there's a <laughs> ghost alien. It's, it's, it's Nobody's helping clean at all. It's all made up. But so when he was younger, though, and like Delilah oh, used God, to sleep in with him, Britt used to have a heyday. Like he would wait in the room. No, terrible would idea. Come, would I would not support this. Brush in their teeth and go like, Aah! like no. Scream from, I, I don't think it's funny, but I I can't no. sit in judgment of him because he, I participated in the behavior. He would laugh like this, <laughs> and I would do this. God, damn. now they're gonna they're, be in our bed for four days. For four years, more like it. <laughs> my daughter still won't go up and get a hairbrush on her own. She's like. I'm like, go put your shoes on. Jazz like, is hey, out there. Come with me. I'm like, you did this. By the way, she's very scared of like creepy dolls. This is no lie, Kristen. I happen to have it here because it, it was so ridiculous and I wanted to tell you about it. So she it is, is so scared doll. of creepy dolls. And so Delilah had her first cavity yesterday. This is a long sidebar. But uh, she had her Those first are big cavity. Verse. It was little. She got the... um. Makes you feel, she feel bad. Nitrous oxide, you know, Ooh. which uh, she was really scared of. But I was like, you so know, it's fun. like America's Funniest Videos, like all those. Yeah. That's what they're. That's what they're on. That's what it's doing. I asked the dentist if he could spare a little, just take the edge off. Yeah, this is also traumatic for me. Can I get a mask? I like an orange flavor as well. Yep. Um, Call it a hookah. So, but her breath was terrible today from all of that. <laughs> so I was like, you got to brush your teeth before Miss Sweeney gets here. And she goes. Can you come with me? Which isn't that weird, but I was like, "Come on, be a big kid and just go, go brush, brush your, your teeth. teeth." She goes, "I can't. Daddy put something in there." Oh, Jesus! I go. What he is, is running interference on your parenting game? He is. I had a one bad night no, example. He is it. making it really hard for I you. Went to the bathroom, and this is sitting up on both handles. Of the this creepy doll is sitting up on that the it's handle. It's weirdly heavy. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's like, one of those dolls hello. that's like feels like a real baby. Hello, kind are of. you here to brush? Okay. I don't know what in God's name he's trying to do. I really don't. But like, I need them to be less freaked out by. Also, things that's like, just that doll sits in judgment. I know it was a bad practical joke. Okay, I don't feel good about it. Well, you I know feel a little good about. Here's it. what I here's what I said that was really bad. So don't do this. I was so upset that they're scared of these creepy dolls and how much they're ruining my life that I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut one open so you can see that it's just, yep, no, I know. I hear myself saying it. So you can just see that it's stuffing. How do we make these mistakes? I how do know, we do these then things? Then they were like just immediately screaming, just screaming. You, ensued. Because I, you just murdered what they think was an alive doll. Well, I mean, wouldn't you? You guys have a history of... If you thought it was real, wouldn't you want to know that I had disemboweled the doll? So uh, I'm making it worse, aren't I? I'm what saying I'm doing I su 
can see where you're coming from. I suppose I would want it to be more like a mafia hit where you're like, let me take care of this. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to worry about that doll again. Yeah, she's going to go swimming with the fishies. Yeah, she's going to go swimming with the fishies. I and do want them to the think, bin. like, I, I've told them for so long. I'm like, if there is something dangerous in your room, it is my legal obligation to make sure you're protected from it. So I'm not going to send you up to get a hairbrush if I believe there the is Taz, a, the, the Taz. Taz is up there and, you know. See, my I think my son's like, I don't trust your work. I don't think you do a good enough job. I think I got to look for, out for myself. And I'm like, remember that based time. on what history. Remember that time you prank called me and yeah. I acted like I was getting arrested? That could happen again, sir. Just saying. I'm, I, didn't know even what? I didn't even have a different accent. Let's be honest. You could have gone a couple of ways there. I think calling the police was because you could have been like, hi, it's the police department. We want you to know there's a call coming from inside the house. Yeah, I know. I could, no. See, and that would have, yeah. literally, then I'm screwed. Yep. Yeah, I can't. They would literally come in and they'd be like, you guys thought you were having date night, but now we're yeah, just going to no, cry. You'll never have date night you'll again, by the way. You'll never have date night yeah. again. Well, I mean, everybody does that. I mean, not as much as my husband does, but, you know, or you. But, How? I mean, that does. No, I can't believe he fell for it, but this is just proof positive that that is your son because yep. I, I think I'm I, always the target. I think I could call you from my phone yep. and it would come up on your cell yep. phone and I could say, Hi, uh, this is uh, the uh -huh. LAPD. Uh, we're using Jen's phone. 100%. I'm in the car right now. Know. Literally, you yeah. saying it right now. I'm like, yep. I'm envisioning myself. I'm getting in the car and I'm like, where is she? Same Tell voice. her I want not to yeah. say one word until I get there. I'm going to post bail. I'm going to a checks for cash place right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling bail bonds. <laughs> Paycheck advance as we speak. <laughs> Oh. I'm returning my favorite handles just to get money to get her out but of the that, slammer. That's what your son is too. He's like at some point he's like the the earnesty I am, kicks I'm, in one thousand. Listen, that's why everybody picks on me to like do these jokes with because I am one hundred percent. I will believe you until you tell me it's not the truth. Yeah, and I'm yeah. I'm upset that I used myself against my kid my husband who's really mean well like Kristen will post something uh, oh he's so mean to me really benign like we the family went and got breakfast sandwiches today yeah, something and super dumb my, my posts are so dumb on my on my personal that my husband will post that's really racist yeah and i'll be or like something wait, wait, wait. Like, oh my god what did i do or say i don't want it and i'm like Oh my God. And then I turn inward. I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a white privileged person that I don't even know that a breakfast sandwich has some sort of tone. No, he's Why am I not more informed? just being an asshole, you he's guys. That's meanest. all he's doing. And he doesn't, I mean, he does do it to you because you always. I said like, one time on, oh, you guys, this is the dumbest. I said one, by the way, if you don't see your post come up that you've written like five or six years ago and cringe oh, yeah. with how dumb they are, I don't even know. Mine are so dumb and boring. Like, there, you know, remember when it was like everybody was trying out using like your name was already there and then you would say is? Yeah. Feeling is frisky. feeling good about whatever. Oh, God, they make my head spin. Mine were so dumb and boring. Like, feels good. She drove her car. Like, <laughs> literally nothing important at all. Yeah, and and then, I would get, like, two likes. And I'm like, of course you did. What what information are you giving anybody? Well, and then my husband would post well, something like, uh, why do you hate your mom? Yes. And I'm like, what what did I say? Yeah. He would, One time I wrote, uh, Tracy Ellis Ross is the greatest mom on television. And I was talking about she's the mom in Blackish. And I was just saying, like, I think she's – I still stand by it, that she's such a great actress and she's so funny. But it just so happens – that Jen and I are friends. Obviously, we're in LA. We're friends with lots of actors. We're friends with lots of comedians. And we have friends that are working in television. And Britt was like, wow, I bet everybody that you know that um, plays a mom or wants to play a mom feels really good about this post. And I was like, you know, I never thought about that before I posted this. I was, and I don't delete it. I just take the beating. Yeah. I don't think I know how to delete it. it. Keeps like going back to defend it, and it is just a train wreck of uh, my. When husband. he was posting the fake wordles, I wanted to punch him in the face. He was. I don't know where he got this, but he was posting all the wordles that he got him on. Do the you want to know try. how many I thought were real? All of them until the last one when his sister was like. Brit, I'm going to end you. 
Yeah, so he was just doing it to make people, like, really angry that he could get the wordle on the first try, you guys. But, like, I literally don't take anything my husband says seriously. I don't even listen to him anymore. Well, that's not easy for someone like me, and it's clearly not easy for someone like my son. So yeah. I'm walking away from here with a heavy lip and a heavy heart. <laughs> we, there's a reason Bad only hair. half her mouth is smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's two reasons. There's one half. My left half is for the regret I have about pranking my kids. And the other half is because medically it won't move. Well, this harkens back to you uh, doing the light as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah. Uh, light as a feather, cool as a bird. Light as a feather, cool. Light when, as a feather. When you set the alarm. When oh, you shut guys up. were doing the Ouija one board. One time. One Okay, but that does go down. I've told this story 1,000 times. I'll just, I'll just dip in and dip out. That was epic. That was a seventh grade sleepover. We were in a basement. We were doing a seance. We always tried to invite the dark arts to every party. I sure. set an alarm. I watched the alarm tick away. I knew when it was going to go. And I said, if there's someone here who's going to hurt us tonight, please send us a sign. And that alarm goes, rah, 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 and literally... 15 girls ran up a stairway, like one of those yeah. unsafe clubs where like there's not enough fire exits. And six of them called their moms to go home. And I just sat there and I was like, don't you dare tell anybody. I told one friend, Tara, and she was like, don't you tell anybody or they'll kill you. I will say that takes a tremendous amount of organization for a preteen. It really did Especially, didn't. what? It really didn't. I just like knew that we were, I knew how it was going to go. Every party we had, we called in the dark arts. So I was like, yeah. I'm going to go down. We're going to do flight as yeah. feather stuff Let's as a board. see what dangerous. And it was can... sitting right there. It was also perfect. That's what happened when the phone rang. It was just perfect. I was like, the LAPD just called and said it was illegal for you guys to make prank calls. I mean- I didn't mean to orchestrate such brilliance, but come on. Well, let's go in and see if we can get Tez to say hello in my son's room. I don't know how to call aliens. I only know how to call no. people from the dead side. But I I'm mean, not doing that because I just watch Stranger Things. I'm not doing that anymore. Well, it really is. It really does indicate that my son, who also does not listen to, maybe he listens to half of what I say because. Then you're doing I, great. I'm sure I said something about aliens and about ghosts and he was listening to that. Um, Can I do? Yes. A mom box. Yes. It's really fun. <laughs> Guys, am I going to get a bunch of DMs that say I'm a terrible mother? I really am not. No, that's nothing. No. Okay. That's literally nothing. I feel so bad. You're not going to know if people, you know what? I could have actually done as a mom box. We're going to do a mom box. Mom box. Um, but I could have done, I because I feel like we should show and explain exactly how cool all of our fans are because we've oh. said this all the time. They will send something like, I do not like this about you or you have disappointed me or something. And then as long as you don't respond like an asshole, they are very nice in response. They're like, what do you Thank mean you for replying? Oh, oh, like a woman said, I followed you. I oh, that's right. Oh, I see what you mean. Like if they disagree with something, they're kind in the way they say it. Still nice. Yeah. Even if they're not kind to begin with, when it, you like, here, let me, this is okay. not, this is going to be a mini mom box. Okay. 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 So this woman sent a message and said, I've listened to you guys for a really long time and I think you're super funny and I was always impressed that you guys were funny without like being dirty and Oh, I'm no. really disappointed in you guys <gasps> that you have a picture on your Facebook or your Instagram of you holding that big penis. And I was like, well, what big penis is it? Well, here's the only one, you guys. It was a mom who gave us these gorgeous gift bags. That right woman the that holidays. emailed us has not seen our live show. She has not seen our live show. Sure. <laughs> but So we got these wonderful um, gift bags. And one of the things in there was a carved wooden <laughs> charcuterie board, board shaped penis, like a penis which, which was hilarious to put in our suitcases yes now i did not put that out on a uh, christmas no as a charcuterie board and actually we my husband and i have this uh funny idea plan that we're gonna sneak it when people leave stuff at our house and they're like i'm gonna come pick up my um my bowl we're gonna sneak that into the bag with them and have i already them, have one jen have them have to bring it back no i know but yeah 
Uh, I want to put it out and just see how long it takes for anybody to notice, but I don't want the kids to be around, but I no, think it'd I be hilarious to just like deck it out with all sorts of meats and cheeses. And then just as I guarantee it would not be anybody that's related to me that would catch it. No, I no for sure. I, I would be like, um, that's a weird mushroom. Yeah. Kinda. My mom would be like, you know, these, these like giant round circles on each side really hold a lot of meat and cheese yep, and, and yep. peanuts. You know what's great about this charcuterie tray? The nuts. The n- I absolutely <laughs> love the nuts and the berries you've got on this end. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what a penis charcuterie board is good for. Okay? There's so, so many dips. There's a lot of dips for the nuts. Just, I'm just going to dip in and out They're of this. They're dipping in and out of this yep. board. This board, and it's nice and heavy. This is a real it's strong a thick board. charcuterie board. Char- strong yeah. board. You know, you it's got. not that long, but it's wide. It's wide. And if you've got a wide board, you really don't need anything else. No matter what people tell you, they don't want a long board. That's they want right. a wide board. Yeah, so... I messaged her back and I didn't like, you know, because sometimes your impulse is to be like, I'm an adult. Please don't like yes. what you're saying is insulting. But we put ourselves out there. And- yeah. And I didn't. I just messaged her back and I said, well, it's, I would feel bad saying something about it because it was a gift from a mom, a fan. And yeah. it was sweet. And it she spent her money to get us. It wasn't just yeah. that. It was these like wine bags and she got us aprons and yeah. all these cute little snacks and stuff like that for the board. It was super nice. Yeah. So I don't want it to like She also got me underwear from like my favorite underwear oh, from yeah, Costco. And did. if you think I haven't been wearing them since she got them Absolutely. for me because I low packed, you're crazy. Yeah. So um so comfortable. And then but she responded and she was like, oh, oh that's really funny. And that was nice of her to do like she responded so nicely, yes. you guys. It was it was a sweet I, I agree with that. I think that we've been, we had another pushback one time on something and I think both of us were like, that's fair. Yeah, that's a fair, sure. that's a fair assessment of this. That makes me think differently. Like definitely, um, there's been some, there was one woman that wrote and she was like, stop giving everybody the finger all the time. And I just wrote back, no, it's probably going to happen. Like, it's nope, just going to happen. You, I am a very imperfect person and I love you the way you are and you got to love me the way I am. And uh, soon enough, it'll be with a more mobile lip, but yeah. uh, this I mean, is kind of what you get. We could do so. That wasn't here's my official mom box. Okay, great. okay. It's a celebrity. <gasps> what? It's an inbox from a celebrity. Who? Okay. So, um, this is from Annie O. She wrote this message. She's listens to the podcast. Um, she says. Uh, she was listening to episode 116, I Lose My Shit. I want to know where all the crap comes from, too. Growing up, I have four siblings. My parents would ask, whose hat is this? Nobody would claim it, and I brushed it off thinking, there are five kids in this family. We all have friends coming over constantly. One of our friends left it. My kids are five and seven. We are all just coming out of quarantine, and the crap just randomly shows up. She doesn't know where it comes from. Nobody's entered our house for like three years. I don't know where all the crap comes from, but here's where it gets extra interesting. Uh... We responded, LOL, when you figure it out, let us know as soon as possible. I think that was your message back. Okay. And then she said, I also feel the need to tell you, my grandfather invented tater tots. What? I said what? What? 19,000 question marks. And I said, that is my favorite food. Food. That should be a food group. It's a, by the way, yes. we're not talking about tater top tots enough, in my no. opinion. Uh, yes, please. Tachos. Tachos. What do we always like get whenever we go? Casserole? Whenever I'd we make... go home to Nebraska, we go to um. We get uh, oh from Amigos from, from Amigos cheese Mexican fries. Mexican fries. Mexican fries. Mexican fries. So salty. They're so delicious. If you're in Nebraska, you call tater tots at a Mexican restaurant Mexi fries because that's you that's what you do. That's as spicy as we can handle it. Okay, so her grandfather's name was F. Nephi Grig, and he invented the tater tot. So from all of the moms in the universe, I think. Thank even you. Even Tez's mom would agree. Thank you for inventing tater tots because it's something we can all agree on and that our kids will actually also, eat. with the invention and the like really like great air fryers that are out there right now, uh, they're the best. Yeah. They want, are the best. But how did he do it? Did he use like ice cube trays? Like how did he get it into the little cylindrical thing? I don't know. Thing? Is I that what we're doing? Send, yeah. We're going to go want, into podcasting that's erotica? I mean like yeah, do you want to slow talk yeah. this? Like, Let's absolutely tell me how he gets them crispy. Yeah, I mean. 
Does like, he have can you imagine cooking when his after? wife was like, I mean, he invented him and then he's like, hey, will you just try this thing I tried? I wonder if she was like, my, I just took off my pants. Yeah, absolutely. That guy I've got this charcuterie totally. board that's. Yeah, uh, give me bring over your big bring, meat, meat slab, slab and, and I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give me your tots and I'll give you my meat board 1, and together they will come together and that's how she was made. What? That's, Sorry, sexy. It's true that <laughs> you know fettuccine Alfredo was made by a guy named Alfredo whose wife had like terrible indigestion uh, while she was pregnant. This is not true. It is true. And what? he he made it up. He made an Alfredo sauce up using bacon grease. Cream and Parmesan cheese, and she could eat it. It didn't upset her stomach, which it upsets my stomach it, hearing it. But it, we had it at the real original Alfredo's in in Rome. It was so freaking good that she that she is insane. I'm like telling you, she's babies, gonna have sixteen you know, kids. 1, she's, do, she's gonna be like, all I want to do is bang and bang and eat fettuccine it's Alfredo. That easy, you guys. That you is just, the, that maybe that should be the new paleo diet. Just bang and eat. Fettuccine Alfredo, you know what? tater tots dipped in Alfredo sauce. Oh my are you god! Me? I don't know what you're doing right now, I but it's not raining anymore. We have to end this. It's we have to go. I am starving. Yes. Okay. That's our podcast. Bye. Bye. 